excited to have you here. No, I really don't, am. Don't lie in front of your friends. No, I am. You know, yeah. I brought 300 relatives. Thank the bar mitzvah is about an hour from now. <laughs> it's great to see you. It's I great just, to see uh, you. It's, it's one I, you know, I, I wore these for the eclipse and I forgot to take it off. <laughs> I'm a recovering drug addict for 23 years, and sometimes you, you know, you do. Yeah, I'm addicted to glasses now. <laughs> is that you started wearing glasses because you were trying to mask something? I was trying to mask the president of the United States. <laughs> I love that you're in. I'm sorry, I alienated three of you. I apologize. <laughs> Here's what happened. And I don't care. I'm not going to do politics. When you do on Twitter, some guy says, you're brilliant. I, I'm just, I'm trying to be a leader. You're brilliant. You're the favorite. I grew up on you. You're 70 years old. I watched you when I was 12 years old. Then I go, you know, but this president, you Jew bastard son of a bitch. <laughs> You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. <laughs> you do. You really nowadays. You know, sure. when I, this is my first time. I've done. Every, this is my billionth show. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I've never done your show, and I and I'm not gonna stroke you, but you know, we wrote to, to each other, and I and I think you're amazing. Oh, I, that's you, very nice of you. Not I, 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 no, no, he'll hate that. He'll hate that. <laughs> well, my first tonight, my first TV show, 45 years ago, was with Johnny Carson. And I'm waiting behind the curtain, not behind the Barney's elevator, which I have no idea. <laughs> I got so scared. I was a guy says stockings, underwear. I don't know what the hell is going on over there. Like, we have everything was back that there. like a big meeting? Let's have an elevator. <laughs> and they get three thousand dollars a minute for that. Discussion. That's right. Yeah. Right, so dig this. Yeah. I'm waiting behind. It's Johnny Carson. I'm 24 years old, and and rest his soul, Paul uh, Papard. Jack Parr? Jack, uh, not, no, no Papard. Uh, oh, George Papard. George Papard. Right, yeah, from the 18th. I'm on, like, the last six minutes of the show. It was on for 90 minutes, and he had lung cancer. So I'm back there crying, and he says, and he's talking about he has very few weeks to live. He has lung cancer. And then, and then Carson says, well, we, we'll wish you the best. And then he segued, and now, for the first time on national television, <laughs> I went into the toilet in a way they had to, they had to get pl Jewish plumbers to get me out of the toilet. Well, thank God Christian Slater is in good health. Well, he wore glasses, too, and he wore a great suit. You know, the spinners used to wear that purple suit. <laughs> <laughs> The rubber band. Man. That's right. You can look at this, but it doesn't matter because we're done. No, we're not done. I no. have a lot of questions. All right, go for on, you. shoot. We it. may even, when we're done with this segment, I like to improv. We may that. even do a whole other segment, just like on the internet or something, if you want yeah, to. You know who watches that? Four people from Syria watching. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me anything you want. I'm seven. I will. I just turned seventy. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> And I used to have a decent penis, but my balls are so low now, it doesn't look as good as it used to. <laughs> Let me have a look. Let's see what's going on. No, here. I can't. <laughs> you can't? No, because I wore, I, uh, I have a cot piece on, like Ben-Hur. It looks bigger than it You know, shirt. you have. You know, when I make love with my wife, we wear 3D glasses over the mirror, <laughs> and I look bigger now because of the 3D, like Avatar. I have an Avatar penis. I have an Avatar penis. You know what you've done you now with the glasses? Don't hate me. Do you hate me already? By taking them off, have not I at all. my show? I'm realizing you have beautiful eyes, and what you've done is you've removed your glasses all right, I'll halfway back through up. the interview and hypnotized me. I felt your... stupid. Here's what happens. You do a show. Five people say, you're a rock and roll comedian. The other guy goes, what, are you trying to be a big shot? You know, everyone judges you. My family judged me from the, from the womb on. Did they really? So then I decided, why don't I pick a job where I get judged every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> How stupid is that? Who, you're in, a great crowd, but thank you. <laughs> and you're, you say your family judged you. Who is the most judgmental uh, of all your family members? I would say uh, practically everybody. Really? Yes. Everybody in the whole family? Well, they wore parliamentary wigs, you know? <laughs> And we, they didn't, they, 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 everyone was old. I was the youngest, like way young. My brother was out in the village. My, and, you know, he's a writer. My sister eloped when I was 12 and she had four kids before I was 15. My father was never home and my mother was, uh, was, uh, you know, she, uh, she tough. had some uh, t tough. I hear when I, when I, the Tonight Show, 
I yeah. called her from Sunset Strip. I've said this years ago, but I have to tell you. Yeah, I, tell I, me. Never, you never heard it. I said, Mother, I'm on Johnny next Thursday. And she said, who else is on? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, what the hell? What? WTF. <laughs> then I knew I was screwed, you know. You but have my both. wife, I got married. I met my wife at a... I, I'm not... Look, I've been around, I, so I know all... You know, it's surreal. I'm just a regular guy, but I used to... You know, I'm a rock and roll fanatic. Mm -hmm. So I went to college during the late 60s, so all of a sudden, I'm friends with all these people. Ringo Starr is a good buddy of mine. I met him, my wife at a party. Wow, that's a good pal to have. Ringo? Yeah, I mean, really. It's, he's a Beatle. <laughs> I, I know, no, he's a great guy, and he helped me with my sobriety, and he's a great guy. So he, my, this, my wife was at the party. She was uh, in the record business. So I knew a lot of these guys, but I didn't know all of them. Like, you know, the Eagles, all these big rock stars were there. So I see this guy who owed me a big favor. I go, listen, is that woman, is she single or not? I have to know now. I fell in love. I was smitten immediately. So I said, you better find out or I'm never going to help you again. And he said, she's single. So I, I went over to her and, and I never stopped seeing her 20 years later. And I'm going be straight. That's, well, that's beautiful. I think we're going to make a joke out of it, but... Well, no. She's very cynical and very funny. And uh, I remember I was doing a show, a benefit for, for Mort Saul. Uh-huh. You know, he's one of the sure. great legendary yeah. guys of all time. And uh, so we're driving home. Mort, this is years ago, Mort had four blondes sitting with him. And, you know, look, you get older, we, we, we're intimate, but, you know, it's on my back, my ass, my neck, my ears. <laughs> Sometimes the doctor says you want to have intercourse or a career. That was a sad thing. <laughs> the doctor said that to you. Yes, intercourse or a career. <laughs> so he says, if you to have intercourse, you have to only lie on your back. And my wife says, only on your back? You were so great when we met. I go, but I hear, and I had a prescription. Richard can only lie on his back. <laughs> so we made a deal. My wife has her own business, okay? Okay. So she says, I can, I, she, so I said, if you only lie on your back, I can be on the telephone while we're having intercourse. <laughs> so she's very hip. Yeah, so I'm we're sure. doing this Mort Saul thing. I know we got to end soon. This is, whole thing is ridiculous. We're going to do another segment for the Syrians. No, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, come no, on. Right, so let me just tell you. Yeah. So I see Mort, and we're driving home. I said, do you think Mort still... Not Mort. Do you think... Uh, you think... You, oh, you have to was sitting there with the five blondes. Uh-huh. You think he still screws? And my wife said, no, no, no. What do you mean, no? It's you have to. And here's what she said. They probably, and if I get bleeped, I don't care. It was so hip. She says, they probably just play with his pecker and feed him grapes. <laughs> <laughs> that would so be then, a hell of a title. I'm driving, I'm driving, and I, I almost killed 900 people driving home. <laughs> and I said to my wife, who needs grapes? I would need grapes. <laughs> if my wife played with my pecker every night, Richard. I wouldn't be here, I'll tell you that. I got to go. No. I know. You Here's what we're going to do. He's Curb the your enthusiasm the returns October 1st, October HBO. October 1st, I'm on Jack Johnson's door. butt. Let's do one more. We'll do one more. We'll do one... We've never done this, but we'll do one special segment. We'll put it on YouTube. Nobody even watches television anymore. All they watch is the Internet. All right? So we'll be right back with Jack Johnson, but we'll also be back with Richard Lewis. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.